Alright everybody, Coach JBK in this uh, four pack Absent Restored Sealed starting at around one. Um, let's see if I get my system sounds. Yeah, should be alright. Um, my opponent playing first. Deciding whether or not to mulligan. We will not mulligan with this hand. Um, got uh, two 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 drops. One that I can play in a three drop, and then Big Daddy. Um, so no, we'll keep what we've got. Okay. Gloom Surgeon holds down the fort really well. Got his Schmuggler. Nice. Okay. So obviously. Well, not obviously, but probably we're looking at some bounce um, with the smuggler. And maybe we can play a little bit of combat tricks with that. Oh, he's got a nice card here. Yeah, Captain of Souls. Let's see what he chooses here. He's choosing Vampire. Interesting. So, I guess I'm fixing to see red. Interesting vampire. Uh, okay, we want to go ahead and play out the Gloom Surgeon first, and he becomes a nice little beater. Especially with the Death Touch, it's really nice. Um, he can mulligan us, or not mulligan us, but. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, swing in. Well, if I swing in, I'm gonna take two. Um, yeah. I'll go ahead and get a little damage on board here. Are likely to take two in return. We're going to go ahead and play our flyer then. So the vampire, you know, is is going to eat whatever we try to death win. Um, oh my. Nice mana base coming up here. Looks like we've got probably some uh, Strom Kirks. Let's see what we got. Yeah, airs. Okay, can totally handle that. Okay, um, this would be. Yeah, we're gonna take two. That increases what we have to do with Deathwind. So, um, let's go ahead and swing in for four. Let's see what we end up with here. And then we could go ahead and bond with the death touch. Um, if we do that, yeah, let's see here. I don't really have any other good way to take care of this. Uh, could also cast presence. Um, don't want her to be able to bounce this either. Uh, so gonna go ahead and Deathwind for two and hopefully go ahead and play our Marabats next. Um, okay. Play that out. Get rid of him. Don't want to really take a lot of damage off him. Uh, cause the sack to occur, which is fine. He gets dead either way. Okay, and that was our good removal spell, so we'll prevent some damage. Um, have not yet started to mill ourselves with Gloom Surgeon. We are going to take three here and be at 17. Uh, depending on what he's got out, Terrifying Presence might be handy next turn. Let's see what we've got. It's going to come on through.
Okay, he's got three cards in hand. to do here. Uh, we can go ahead, tap, and give our searchlight geist. Uh, he's going to have to sack anyway, um, which is fun. So we're going to give our searchlight geist. Okay, um, we could have done it for the Gloom Surgeon, but clearly uh, we need the Flyer. So we can go ahead and swing in here. Uh, if we do, we're going to get a 3-3, three, three, um, and he's going to sack early. So let's just see what happens here. He's got two cards in hand. we got some good options. Uh, we do need a little bit of land. Could have played out the Gloom Widow there. Um, that would have been fine and probably a better use of our mana, but um, I wanted to go ahead and get the Death Touch online. Oh, had a play. So be it. Okay, we're gonna eat the Taskmaster. That's interesting. Wow. Um, See, if he picks this up, sets it back down, it's going to come back down with no counters on it. That's great. Um, we are going to take some damage here, unless we prevent. Uh, which three off the top leaves us with 15. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Go ahead, baby. It's probably going to the face. All right. All right, we're going to see everything in his hand right here. And that's a good card. There's no doubt. Uh, we're going to definitely take three here. Not a big deal. <sighs> that's not mana at all. Um... We gonna have to go ahead and just kind of hang in here. We need one or more mana to make this work well. Uh, anybody that comes in is gonna get uh, dropped. I see is see what he's doing here. He's gonna go ahead and sack and run on in. Yeah, we're going to take these three right here. Okay, Bladed Bracers is not bad, um, but not really what we want. Um, to equip it, we're going to have to use our Terrifying Presence. Uh, he's going to go ahead and sack, uh, but yeah, he's, he's going to take here, um, which is great. I can totally handle that. Um, let's go ahead and go in with Gloom Widow and see what happens here. Okay, probably gonna run out the. Um, I don't want to even show him I've got a trick, so I'm not even gonna throw down the bracers. Really could use some more mana. 
Okay. Not a big deal. Um, this is a nice little combo he's got working. Very nice. If we could get a couple more mana, we could take advantage of it ourselves. Um, Alright, do we want to take four here? Um, my answer is... Uh, no. So we're going to block. And cast Terrifying Presence. Not the greatest thing in the world. What are you gonna do? He's gonna start swinging in with this pretty soon, and that's gonna be kind of ugly on us. So we really need to rip a man off the top. Okay, that's fine. So save four damage there. We're gonna use Mary Bass at all. Okay. Um. Now it gets kind of interesting. We uh, we will go ahead and go ahead and swing in. Uh, no, he's just going to bounce. Okay, so basically, um, my removal is fairly sapped. Other than combat tricks, sadly, with one more mana, we can really take advantage of this. He should have sacked before he did that. Continues to pump up this connoisseur. Gets bigger and bigger. Okay. Uh, do I want to do that? You know what? I really, um, I really don't. Uh, I might just end up taking four here. Well, you know what? It causes him to pump. I'm gonna go ahead. Well, no, it doesn't. He can go ahead and kill him. Now. Just fine by us. It does leave us. Um, okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't really help us a great deal at all. Uh, We can go ahead and play it. Uh, we gotta go ahead and swing in here. Um, and we'll probably just end up jumping with it. So, three turn clock. Really needed another mana there. Um, so. Throw down the bracers. Not equipped in this time. As long as stuff has death touch, we're doing pretty well. So the champion. Okay, yeah, you got a huge dude. I mean, there's no stinking doubt. Why he's not. Yeah, okay. I guess why he's not sacking that is he doesn't want it to die. Um, okay. Yeah, you know what? I am. Uh, I am going to go ahead. Four, three. No, I'm not going to take it. Can't really afford to right now. 
um, but it's desperately important that we um, pull down a, another mana. Let's go ahead and jump here. So, um, let's see here. Well, we're going to end up taking one. Uh, we do have a flyer, so he's going to be on a two turn clock. Uh, that's pretty much what we're looking at. He's got the bounce. He's going to go ahead and, I guess he could bounce Stexing Devil if he wanted to. I'm still not going to take it. Um, we are just going to go ahead and go in here. Um, unless he's got something to pick me off in the air. Looking halfway decent. I have to see what happens here. Okay. This guy does have death touch and he's a fatty, so that really helps. Um, if he can take me out of the air, he's just probably in trouble. Uh, otherwise, or if he's got some trample, or maybe a uh, Fervent Cathar. It's always handy. We finally got him out to take advantage of this card draw. Okay. Let's see what happens. 7-7. Seven, seven. Coming in. If he's got something to kill here, we're pretty much dead. Uh, well, if it's a death wind, we are dead. If it's a ghoul flesh, we are dead. Um, we can take four and still live through the one here. Okay. Oh, you know what? I totally stinking forgot about the Gloom Widow. That's pitiful. Pitiful. Um, but we can block here. Block here. And hopefully that's going to do it for him. Uh, We'll see, that's pretty weak. Uh, couldn't have regenerated or we would have died there. I keep forgetting this guy can't block. That's the one downside. He's a great beater. Um, yeah, I think we got through on that one. Kind of ugly. Took us a long time to get that mana kind of straight. Um, but, you know, took round one. Let's see. Uh, Ghoul Flesh will be really uh, handy. So, probably going to put the ghoul flesh in and take the bracers out. Mm, didn't see any flying stuff. Not really concerned about that. Don't want to splash. Submit here. Uh, and see how we do in game two. So, I'm fresh out of the uh, card shop. Uh, they had Friday Night Magic tonight. Of course, it's early in the morning. Well, it's Saturday morning now, but uh, we did a little Friday Night Magic. Lots of fun. A little sealed there. Six six uh, pack sealed and um, had some some great pulls uh, ran with uh, triple color green fixing uh, in that that deck would have just dominated this one but I had two extra packs alright so we got double green uh, we can eventually throw down gloom widow um, we've got sort of like Geist I'm not gonna mulligan this and hopefully we will be okay with that yeah, so we got enough mana to cast our Gloom Widow now to kind of get through there. So in retrospect, in round or in game one, 
there if he had thunderous wrath me instead of the uh, instead of the gloom surgeon which he was really concerned about I didn't even look to see how many cards were left I'll have to look in the replay um, if he had thunderous wrath me then we would be uh, pretty much deed okay let's see what he's got here on this Cavern of Souls. So he's got a nice card. He's got some value here. Sell that back for a few ticks. Um, he goes for Vampire again. So we're probably looking at something similar. Would love to pull. Ah, okay. Alright, well, that's fine. Okay, well, we have one play here. And it is Gloom Widow. Nothing to bond it with to make Join Assault really pay off, but we can make it a 5-5 five, five if we want to throw it, throw down on it. He's going to get me for 2 here and probably cast his um, Stromkirk, which is going to hurt. We don't we don't have anything that can really take care of that. Um, Haunted Guardian might be a good sideboard option, because uh, he's looking like ground, looking pretty ground-based. Um, he's going to get a couple damage on us here. Can put one more mana. Great. And yeah, not starting off so hot. And uh, game two. Let's see. There we go. That works. Uh, okay. So we're just gonna swing in. And see if he wants to block us. Um, could roll with the Butcher Ghoul, but it really doesn't do a lot for us. I do not want to take three. I hate to do this, but we are going to go ahead and use our mana unwisely and just go ahead and cool flesh here. And that's all well and good. Could use another mana and get my uh, marrow bats online. Kind of nullifies his first strike. He's showing good mana. Let's see what he's got. Okay, okay. So he's gonna do five damage to me here, which you know, I'm content with that. As long as he doesn't have anything else nasty to tie in. Boy, Gloom Surgeon would be just wonderful right now because it stops all this uh, mayhem. Boy, I can't believe he must have just pulled that because uh, casting Malcontents uh, before that, and obviously, you know, he's looking for the synergy between the um, Sack Vampire that he played in game one and the Stature of Old, which is a really nice synergy. He's got a good deck, there is no doubt. Land off the top, I like it. Um, okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and swing. Can't block anyway, so may as well have him not sit on the sidelines there. Um, looking at Butcher Ghoul or Searchlight Geist. Um, probably gonna use Joint Assault. You know what? Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and play them both out, and probably just jump with the Butcher Ghoul next turn. I don't really want to take two more. He's got Vexing Devil. He's got Thunderous Wrath. Um, that alone would kill us if we take two more. So, that's where we're at. Next turn, probably just playing uh, Marrow Bats. 
Here. It pretty much has two dam damage online uh, for us here. Unless we want to. Uh... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and swing in. With both these guys. And um, wait to see about the uh, joint assault until he tries to pick somebody off. And I think he's just going to block our butcher ghoul. Um, we're going to go ahead and let's see here. If you join us all here, I mean, he can't kill us here anyway. Um, here we're gonna die anyway so um yeah just gonna go ahead and let that occur could go ahead and throw down the it's gonna take three he's gonna be an 11 uh, I like that get four guaranteed um, five we'll put him at nine uh, yeah, just going to let this go ahead and occur here. Oh, I forgot he had stinking for a strike. That's terrible. Okay. Uh, yeah, marrow bats. Don't really want to throw that out there. And we, you know, we definitely will block uh, somebody. This time we're going to end up taking two. Looks like he's got, uh, so misplay on the first strike. Completely overlooked that. I don't know that I would have used my joint assault anyway. Probably just wouldn't have attacked. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and block um, here. I'm going to take two. Back back for eight. Or even nine. Depending on what he plays right here. Double marrow bats, it's not bad. Um gonna go ahead and swing in. And just see what happens. Ouch. Okay, gotta play like he's got Thunder's Wrath in his hand. Um, if he's got a Vexing Devil also, that's not gonna be pretty because he can pretty much just kill us. Um, but this is our play, and so we'll make it. He's apparently got to play um, in any one of these guys without joint assault. Just kills him. So um, I think probably we block here, joint assault uh, to prevent dying. See if he's got a trick before we regenerate. Let's see, Let's see what he's got. He may have something to jump in here. He may be able to death win somebody, and he may only death win for one. In which case we. Um, We'll join Assault now. Thinking a long time about it here. Uh, well, here you go. Let's see what we got here. Um, and... Yeah, okay. Okay, that works. I don't really want to pay for life or regenerate. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let that get. It's not a problem. Papas, and if he's got Thunderous Wrath, we're just dead now. Um, but we were dead anyway. And he does. But he can't cast it until his next one. Oh, yeah, he can. Okay. Yeah, no, that was well played. Um, I don't really know uh, what we could have done differently there. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's hard to play around that much direct damage. Um, I should have put that Holony Guardian in there, but oh, go ahead and play first. Uh, we've got a, a lot of black in here. Um, nah, we're not going to mulligan though. We do have four lands. That's good enough to get some stuff out. Um, hopefully we'll end up with the Gloom Surgeon. That really throws a wrench in his plans there. Okay. So let's see what we've got to do here. Nice. That's a great draw. Okay, well, that was a nice counter. Try to push through our damage here. is very weak against flyers. Um, he might have his vampire. Oh well then, goodness gracious. Okay, well we don't have anything else. Uh, school fleshes would have been just dominant against our mirror bats as well, so you know. Maybe he's got airs. Yeah he does. Okay. Well that's gonna be a clock on us here pretty quick. Um, okay. Uh, gonna go ahead and throw our marrow bats out. I think we can now race him with the double marrow bats unless he just catches us repeatedly. Let's see, does he have the five mana that he needs? Yes, he does. Four thunders, right? My guardian would have been handy there, but would have been removed, I am certain. Uh, let's see what he's got. Executioner. Okay. Generally um, unpreventable damage there. Uh, okay, I'm going to swing in for four. Sack. We can just sack. We are going to get in for four on the ground anyway here. Um, we will not block either way, so probably better. Hmm. And the bats are great, but if he plays his sack vampire, he's going to be able to remove. I uh, think. Um, It's going to start getting ugly here pretty soon, so um, we're going to go ahead and play out the Halgeist. Um, his clock on us is uh, four-ish turns. Our clock is going to be uh, eh, less than that. Depends on what he gets. Um, Hopefully he doesn't have a pillar. I have not seen one. He does have plenty of land. So he's going to start taking pretty nasty here with this airs. Uh, but the good thing is we have the mana to play. What we need to play, uh, a Deathwind will kill here. Um, not blocking. Clearly can't block. Won't block. 
throw something down. Fine. We're going to have him on a two turn clock, though. Um, he's got us on a three turn clock, depending on what he plays right here. Let's see, Lancer. Okay, he's going to bind that up. And that's fine. Um, yeah, Corpse Traders is not bad. Uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, swing in here. Okay, and uh, now here we are at right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to take 8, and that leaves us in Thunderous Wrath range. Uh, that's not what we want to be doing. So we would much rather take 6. Um, so, yeah, he's going to be dead next turn. Unless he manages to find a way to remove here, which he may. And yeah, two creatures really looks good. Go ahead and bind up here with the death touch and see what we're running into here. Thunder's Wrath off the top. No. Might have it though. But that doesn't quite get us down far enough. If he's got Vexing Devil, uh, Gonna have to evaluate that as it comes. I mean, basically, you know, he can block uh, Halgeist here with his uh, airs. So if he doesn't swing in, it's a good sign for us. Trying to work it out. Okay. Let him come. Okay, so that gets a six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So that's gonna hit us. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Eight. Um, six. Yeah, he's just got us straight up. But he can't swing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think he's just totally got us. Hmm, okay. Alright, he's not swinging yet. Two, three, four, five, uh, five. It is for five. I'm guessing he might have a um, thunderbolt, but you know we can go ahead. We're not going to swing in uh, here. Yeah, don't really want to block here. Um, let's see here. Two, three, four, five. We're going to get down to three. He's got a thunderbolt. You can always sack here, but that. Yeah, that's going to leave us unable. Um, we're going to die here anyway next turn. So, um, yeah. Okay. I'm uh, going to go ahead and block, block up here. And not block elsewhere. I don't really get it. Okay. That doesn't do us a lot of good. Um, 
so it's going to block out here and that gives us a Halgeist to block with um, we can block out here and we can block out here so just depending on what he's got in his hand uh, I don't know what it is but we're going to go ahead and just swing in and see what we run into um, He's got a block here and kill here, so we're not gonna even roll in there. Okay. Okay. He's got three attackers. We have three blockers. Uh, he's first striking. Um, yeah, we, we're going to go ahead. Jeez. Oh, can block here. Um, can block here. And then he kills here. But I don't think he can handle both. So um, I'm going to go ahead. And if he's got Thunderous Wrath again, I mean, he'll just die. There's no way around it. Um, there we go. Big fan of Corpse Traders. Wish I had one more mana. Could have totally uh, used that up. Let's see how he blocks, how he attacks here, rather. I don't want to die to um, a Thunderbolt. Here. We're going to block uh, here. And we're going to block here. Okay. Let's see what he's got here. I mean, I, I don't know why he would have even attacked had he, not, had, he had uh, Thunderous Wrath in his hand. He could have just killed us straight up. That's fine. If he's got two removal spells, he's just better than we are, and drawing better than we are, and then I don't really know that there's a lot we can do. So, here we are. I'm not sure what he misclicked. He said he misclicked there. Um, I don't know what he misclicked. Um, but, you know, we're not going to do a full-based inquiry uh, sending the Secret Service to um, to analyze the situation. We just uh, took round one, barely. Uh, that is a good deck. I really love some of his synergies, but we just had a lot of guys that uh, he removed early. He wished he had those uh, he wished that he had those ghoul fleshes back late, I'm certain, because we really um, would have been beaten down. Uh, Gloom Surgeon, I don't think, was that big of a threat to him. You know, you start milling yourself in a 30-card deck, it doesn't take long. But anyway, that's uh, the end of round one. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it is late. Color commentary is gray at best. Uh, but there's the draft we ended up taking the first round and um, we'll see how we do in the second. Thanks for watching.